Hello! This week, and I couldn't put it off any longer, it's blind bags relating to My Little Pony, because I've been sent quite a few of them by about a million different people. Who remembers My Little Pony then, those loosely horse-shaped little lumps of pastel plastic that uh, girls would comb the hair of and then pretend were going to a gymkhana or something, I don't know. Well, unless you've been under a particularly resilient rock for the last few years, you will of course be aware that there has been a reboot of sorts. Indeed, it's been spattered all over the internet like dog's diarrhoea. Um, basically, yeah, um, they made a kind of semi-animated flash gubbins thing for little girls, but this has reached a much wider fan base. You've got the infamous Bronies, the older male fans of it, being the most uh, shined on by the media, shall we say. And yeah, it's all got a bit out of hand, as these things tend to do, because, you know, you get people who genuinely like it for one reason or another. Can't fathom why. I tried to watch an episode once, see if there's something behind it, and I nearly fucking died, it was so bad. But hey, to each of their own. And then you get people who kind of want to rally around something that's not societally accepted, so then they get more into it there, and then you get the strange obsessive people who get deeper into it there. And then of course, there's being the internet, you get the trolls who realise that they can piss people off if they pretend they're really crazily into it. And that then leads you into weird things like... Uh, you know, My Little Pony porn and that, which is generally produced by people who don't get off on it, but just want to piss off other people with its existence. Although I am sure there are some weirdos getting their rocks off on it somewhere, because there's always somebody. Maybe it's your brother. Go check his hard drive, you never know. Anyway, yes, I've been sent a lot of blind bags of them, and I'm not particularly looking forward to it. They're just going to be plastic lumps of poniness, aren't they? The most common by far is these neon bright... Mm. Friendship is magic. Goodness knows what. Look, there's a flying one with a boa or something, and that one's got a false moustache, which is interesting. And there's all different ones you can collect, and I don't really care much for any of them. Although one of them is a griffin, apparently. That's interesting. Gilda the griffin, is that? Hmm. Well, that's a bit of an offshoot then. I suspect that happened with the original toy line. They must have run out of horses at one stage and got into unicorns and... Um, I don't know, political party agents or something. Anyway, let's start with this, shall we? Oh, it's the Griffin. There it is. It's a bit translucent and neon. And it's got a bit of a comb forward. It could be a video logger. Look, wait for the jump cut. Oh, didn't happen. Right, that's that one then. What's this? Buildable vinyl figures. Oh, good, because they really look like something you'd need to build, having a whole three pieces, according to that. No hint on the back of what's going on. It's from Tony. It's something to do with a gashapon. Can I get it open? Yes. I'm going to put this one in the bag for mutual protection. So, explain to me how you build it, because this thing does look like it's already built. It's also got really stupid looking eyes. Like, oh, I'm not winsome at all, honest. And there we are. You can stand there. What's this other one? Oh, this is a non neon version, presumably. Hmm, I'm going to get into that. Ah. I shall rip it open ah, with my teeth and not do a very good job by the looks of it. Come on. Come on. It's... Ugh. Oh, God. It's infected with something. It's, it's infected with glitter, mostly, which is getting everywhere. Bloody hell. Off you go. Oh, good. It could have... Been, what's that one? It's Pinkie Pie. Really? Oh, no, this is Crimson Gala? Or is it... No, that is... It's the same... What, what is that? A different version? Oh, fuck it. I don't know. Time for a jump cut to see all the little bastards, then. There we are. All your favourites, from that one again in a different colour to Emo Unicorn. Marvellous. Hey, look at that one! It thinks it's people on two legs. And speaking of it thinks it's people, I was sent this. This is apparently a bootleg My Little Pony doll of, you know, very close rip-off of an actual design. I didn't realise that because it was sent to me without explaining what it was. And it's got cat ears and like fairy wings, so I thought it was some sort of cat fairy from, I don't know, Monster High or Ghoul School or one of those uh, currently popular with the girls' trends, but no! It is, astonishingly, apparently a My Little Pony doll from when they're half human or something, because apparently toy designers are now employing fucking deviant art to come up with their designs. Brilliant. So anyway, the time has come to pass judgement. Or, in fact, the time has probably come to check on eBay to see if any of these are worth anything, as is the law of blind bags. But, frankly, I don't care and can't be asked. so let's move swiftly on. Yeah, the thing about collectibles of this type is, 
even if you don't like the franchise they're from or got no interest in the movie or TV show or whatever, as long as they're nice little toys in their own right, doesn't really matter, does it? But as you have probably noticed by now using your eyes, these are frankly all shit. I mean, the bottom of the pile is that vinyl builder figure thing, which, I mean, frankly, it's deformed. It's got like these weird proportions and what the hell is going on with the eyes? I've got no idea. That's just rubbish. Whereas the little neon things are, well, they're in proportion at least, but they're sort of boring and they're, well, translucent and ugly and neon coloured, which I suppose is the point in order to make them different to the normal ones and sell more. Hmm, that's a bit insulting in itself, isn't it? And also, the paint on them is absolutely terrible, really sloppy like something you would find in a Christmas cracker. Deary me. I do hope, actually, if you are a fan of the show, that you have other collectible things to buy if you want them, because all of these are absolute gubbins. And frankly, I would be very happy to burn them. But something pushed me past that point, actually. And no, it wasn't the horrific half-human, half-pony doll thing at the back there. Let's try and put that out of our minds, as that wasn't in a blind bag. I know we probably couldn't put it out of our minds even with related therapy, but that's not the point. I mean, why? It's like they deliberately made it just to insult their own fan base. I cannot get my head around that at all. Some money man thought it would make a few pennies, didn't he? Anyway, point is, the thing that turns this from insult to injury is mother fucking repaints. So, rather than burn them myself, I think these are going to have to go and pay a visit to Andy. Andy is a man who's not particularly keen on My Little Pony collectibles, but he is very keen on chemicals, fire, and chemical fires. Actually, perhaps you could consider this a form of therapy for anyone who runs a YouTube channel or similar, and for the last couple of years or so has been putting up with comments which have a pony avatar and then some piece of text that makes no sense out of context whatsoever, and then starts a massive argument nobody in their right mind would care about, and you have to pick through in order to find something at least vaguely relevant to the video. Take it away, Andy.
Hey guys, mistake here. Please don't try any of those experiments, or should I say, pony mutilations at home, as most of them are highly dangerous. And if you'd like to check out my channel, you can do so by clicking here. I do science and how-to videos, and generally like to burn stuff. So maybe subscribe if you're interested, and I'll see you around.